Well, we made it back up here today. We was here last night, which was Sunday evening. This is Memorial Day, Monday. And we're gonna see that see if the concrete has got a little better. It wasn't really set up very good last night, so I think it's better today. We opened it up, the little forms that I had on there, and it looks a lot better. Gonna run a water line through there, do some sealing around it, and probably if everything goes well, start backfilling on this place. Get some of this mess cleaned up. Uh, maybe get this stuff here slid over at least to the fence until I can get up here with another machine and a flatbed trailer and haul it out. But uh, I'm going to try to get that sealed up around the electric lines and run a water line right on around and, and over to the other side of the house while this is open. And then I'm going to try to get her covered up. So what this actually is going to be is a is a drain off of the uh, what do we want to call it, Lise? Geothermal. The it's a drain off of the geothermal furnace, and it's what they call a pump and dump. So it runs water through it and then dumps it been going into the lagoon which the lagoon is clear water and all the way to the bottom because there's nobody been living here for a long time but this has been running so it's just been dumping fresh water in the lagoon for uh, practically a year now so we're going to pull that out of the drain line in there and pump it out here and for now I'm going to dump it into the seepage line at the end out here just where it comes out from under the out from around the house and it's just going to go dump over the hill uh, just temporarily because i don't know what else to do with it we're going to use that water for something whether it's building a pond down there of some kind for it to feed into that we can get some enjoyment out of or uh, not sure it might be that we eventually just have them come back and and redo it to where it's not a pump and dump. It's, it's a circulation that goes through the well and comes back and just saves that water because uh, we're not real crazy about it, but it does work well and it seems to be efficient from what I've heard. Um, it works really well and it's quiet. So I like the geothermal part. I just don't like the dump part. So, so we're gonna capture the water for now and do something with a little pond or water feature or something that'll we can always have some some kind of use out of the water until we figure out for sure what we're going to do. But for today, it's just going to dump with the CP line. I'm just sitting here 
I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever What's up under the siding? Huh? Is it open up under the siding? No, they've got a piece of flashing that goes to the concrete out and up. It's done really well. They just didn't finish their job at the windows. It looks good down here. Well, we can finish it. Yeah, we'll be put good. a piece of treated lumber up there and maybe cover it with a piece of flashing. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Just to seal it. Keep Gotta the get varmints it off. out. Keep the varmints out. And... I'll leave this down here because we're going to need it in there next. Okay. On the side out of mine. <laughs> yep. That little project, that part of the project is done, I guess. Yeah. Ready to backfill them? I think so clean up the tools and stuff up Get front. Get out of the way and start putting some dirt on this. I may try it. I may move the truck and trailer. Scrape a little more rock off the drive and put in here on that line and then when we dig it up it'll be a little easier to get to. Yeah, well at least you know that you're getting close to it before you yeah. hit it. Yeah, and I want to cover that. We still need to seal those up up there. Oh yeah. So we'll do that. I'll put scrape the driveway more and put more rock on that because I want that for sure covered. I don't want any, if, if it settles, I want that little gravel just to feed around it and keep it from pushing down on it. Good idea. So we'll have that. And then when we go to dig it back up, because pretty sure we will where I just run that one piece of pipe out and hook back onto the existing pipe. I think we will want to fix that better before long. We may move the lagoon too. It's too close to the house. So. About a year old. Great stuff. Ranks right up there with duct tape, zip ties, Velcro. Great stuff. Velcro, not to be mixed up with velvet. <laughs> no. Velvet is so good. No velvet. That was a 1970s thing. Yeah, that's the kind of interior you had in your Pontiac Sunbird, probably. Velvet? No. I did have a velvet skirt, though. I think my cousin and I had matching velvet skirts. We went to the chicken house and got into the eggs and had eggs broke all over our velvet skirts. Mom was not happy. I ran away from home once and took a blanket that my grandma made me and left it on top of the hog house where I was going to live. Mom wasn't, still isn't happy about it. Yeah, she She's still brings that up. Does two years old and she still remembers that. Still brings it up, doesn't she? Yes. She does. I'm gonna go poke some of this in that down below. Okay. See, it may have come through down below. I'll take that with me. Okay. Look at that. I brought the camera in and then I didn't show what I was doing. I'm feeling ahead and fill those holes in this void if, that it had up here. Filled it in that little crack, which it had concrete on the outside holding it, but 
continue to seal it a little better I think so then that this I'm gonna let dry it'll spin around when we want it to is this what supervising is all about yes okay Isn't it? I guess I'm not complaining be afraid to. I don't want to make my supervisor mad. Okay, so we got the water line in, got it ran around. It's just stepped off on the inside of the house. Got those full of that spray foam. I don't know if that was the best way to do that, but that's the way we done it. Um, I think it'll be it's no doubt a lot better than it was. I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to scrape some more of this driveway down and try to use, we don't want this driveway in this spot anyway, so we're, I'm going to just use up what I can of that rock and just go ahead and cover that water line that goes around here as much as I can. And uh, kind of work it in this ditch and uh, hopefully get some of this backfield. I'm going to shove this old uh, porch and stuff down to the fence, shove that sunroom thing down there as well. And I don't know, I'm going to move this old concrete and stuff over out of the way also, but, uh, and then try to just start working this dirt in and getting it backfilled and maybe do some grading up here on this yard. It needs something kind of cut in right through here a little lower and on across and then it's low against the house so i may i don't know that i'll raise that any but i may just lower the rest of it and try to grade it back away just have to start working on it and see how it goes sometimes you need to go Take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell.
believe I'm done with the grading for today. It's still pretty wet. I got a lot of that work down. Uh, I cut a little bit of a grade line in here just to try to get the water to drain away from the place. Um, build it up a little bit here, but it's gonna have to settle quite a bit. Every time I pull in there with my tractor, I just leave ruts that I have to fill. So I think a rain or two would do it a lot of good settle it in and then I'll bring some more dirt in and, and get it to where the it drains right right down through here and around and not sure we're talking about building a carport on out here so it's kind of questionable what's going to happen here anyway but for now we got the water away from it I think that's got a lot of settling to do we raise the ground back here quite a bit I believe it's getting better. I think it'll be quite a bit better. And I'm glad to have that thing off the front of it. I didn't like that at all. So I believe that's where we're going to call it for today. We got this little task done. Uh, not sure where we're going from here. Need to go in and start ripping carpet out and make it smell a little better in there. So we might work on that next. But supervisors up there I don't think you can see her in the trailer but she's been keeping an eye on me today I believe we're gonna call it a day on this and uh, we certainly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to follow along with us if uh, if you would give us a like hit that button and also subscribe because we'd like to bring you along we've got a lot of plans for the rest of this place and we are going to be doing a lot of work on it so please subscribe and follow along we'd love to have you along thank you